in this session let me discuss how to revise the syllabus and how to attempt online test before going any further i have to uh, tell you one thing normally many people do two greatest mistakes in attempting online test you should not do that the first mistake is people feel that okay let me complete the syllabus to take up online test okay so syllabus completion is almost impossible or very very difficult we can say because we are not studying seventh standard or tenth standard engineering engineering means application oriented subject the moment it's application it will be best one thing if you have a feel of that okay let me complete the syllabus and then take up the online test most of the people who are having this mindset will attempt mock test maximum mock test only they will attempt and that too they will attempt one day before get exam or one night before get exam okay so that will not give any result of what online tests are intended to be used now second greatest mistake second greatest mistake people do is means first they will take maybe in a rush they will take first uh, two three online tests or five six online tests and after that they will be devastated they will be disheartened okay and they feel that okay out of 15 questions we are able to attempt only five questions meaning that gate may not be our cup of tea they feel and after that they don't attempt any online test directly they will go to the gate exam only and they will attempt gate exam only they also will not get any uh, fruitfulness or output they will not get properly okay so point here is these two mistakes you should not do why we are attempting online tests okay we are attempting online tests such that our uh, means our waker area should be realized because if you realize your waker area half of the battle is done okay so don't um, even any, if anybody is attempting online test and all don't get disheartened not required out of 15 questions if you are able to solve only five questions meaning that remaining 10 questions areas concepts you please go back and revise that's enough because that is the purpose of online test now now let me tell you my plan okay means of completion of syllabus and uh, online test series okay see here uh, as of now as of now most of the people will be very much under confident i can understand that okay but point here is we have to select subjects now such that those subjects should boost our confidence one thing and at the same time we should not become overconfident okay so let us select subjects in such a way that who will boost our confidence networks boost our confidence everyone know networks controls boost our confidence and uh, more scoring also and signals keep it aside em theory keep it aside mathematics keep it aside and come to here analog and digital digital easy okay which will boost our confidence measurements easy we can boost our confidence power systems machines power electrons keep it aside aptitude okay these subjects will boost your confidence boost your confidence at the same time we should not be overconfident so select some other subjects which will control your confidence okay signals and systems signal systems and the most of the members who know mathematics in a proper way will be able to get signals and systems that too Srihar sir is handling that okay now next thing is emf fine now see here out of machines power systems power electronics out of these three heart of electrical engineering at least we should be able to select one subject which subject should be selected if i compare machines and power systems okay let me compare machines and power systems from concepts point of view see in power systems multiple concepts will be there multiple concepts will be there but they are not interrelated corona is a separate thing okay and maybe load frequency control is going to be separate thing our voltage control is separate thing lc calculation separate thing and uh, load flow analysis separate thing protection separate thing uh, fault separate thing and stability separate thing meaning that if you get any doubt in stability what will you do directly you will go to stability and once you uh, what do you say realize your mistakes are weaker areas you will become stronger but machines is not like that for example if you get a doubt in armature reaction of dc machine this machine okay then what you will do means in order to get grip over the rmh reaction the process i'll tell you first dc machine rmh reaction should be studied should be analyzed and after that again rmh reaction no synchronous machine rmh reaction has to be analyzed and then why in transformer rmh reaction is not there why in induction machine rmh reaction is not there you have to understand then you will get the grip over rmh reaction okay meaning that meaning that power systems revision is damaging compared to machines revision machines revision so let us take machines at starting only 
such that power systems even if you have less time also means directly as i said directly you can jump into one topic and you can clear the topic and you can come out okay these subjects we are going to handle first out of means let me take our online test reference that's it the same thing can be followed by if anyone like my plan okay total 26 online tests a uh, topic level test we are providing and 14 subject level tests we are providing okay in that mathematics three tests and digital two tests analog two tests okay so three plus two which we are uh, planning to keep for later time five power systems three and power electrons two so out of 26 tests 10 tests we are not going to plan immediately and remaining 16 tests we are planning to take up the test okay now next thing is out of 14 subject level tests out of 14 subject level tests see here mathematics one and analog digital one two power systems one three power electronics one four so out of 14 four tests we are going to plan for later and remaining 10 tests we are going to take and this is topic level test this is subject level test okay and after that multi subject level test multi subject level test we are planning we are conducting we are going to conduct 10 tests and after this we are going to conduct grand test of 10 mock test of 5 okay let me tell you the time topic level test 45 minutes each test will contain 15 questions and it is uh, is meant for 25 marks subject i'll tell you means the plan soon and subject level tests we are conducting for 33 questions 33 questions means this is for one hour one and a half hour one and a half hour 90 minutes and this is meant for 50 marks and multi subject level tests also same one and a half hour time 33 questions will be there okay and uh, 50 marks 50 marks and mock tests and grand tests both are going to be like uh, gate only 65 questions and three hours okay and 100 marks now let us come back to here we have we are supposed to start with 16 topic level tests 10 subject level tests okay so for example we decided networks in networks two topic level tests will be there one subject level test will be there okay now see here out of these 16 topic level tests 16 topic level test along with the online test strategy you have to start preparing those particular topics that's it okay out of 16 and then 10 subject level tests we are targeting first for example if anybody start their uh, what do you say attempting online test by tomorrow 20th october and uh, every day 45 minutes we can give okay so every day if you take one test it is going to take 16 days 16 days every day if you take up this particular subject level test 10 days okay here one and a half hour you have to spend okay now maybe first two days if you attempt uh, network theory network theory topic level test one network theory topic level test two and immediately if you take network theory subject level test okay don't get discouraged don't get discouraged it is part of the game okay everybody will be stressed out now I, I know that I can understand that okay now if you can take up kind of two network theory topic level immediately subject level in that way if you consider total is going to be 26 days once you attempt the test if you are unable to attempt any of the questions immediately take one book for all the subjects only one book you please mention there where you are weighing you please take up the problem you please solve the problem that is going to be the revision copy means every time you are going to revision only that book only independent don't keep networks one book controls one book signals one book not required for combinedly only one book let us keep okay now if anybody start from 20th of october 26 days means roughly 30 days this is going to be 30th november 30th november november is over meanwhile during this time whatever the subjects we left power systems we left power electronics we left mathematics we left so those videos you are going to watch are those uh, subjects you are going to revise okay after that 30th november is over okay and see here means you are going to revise by having that particular book 
okay everything you please write there only if you are weak in for example uh, magnetically coupled networks in network theory so magnetically coupled analyze magnetically coupled write notes there only that is going to be your revision copy okay that will be like angel that's it okay which will bless us in the gate exam for sure okay now number is over we are able to complete 16 topic level tests and 10 subject level tests subject level tests remaining 10 topic level tests are there and four subject level tests are there these things let us start from december 1st okay in these uh, 16 topic level tests if you like networks first you can start networks after, after that controls you can take after the digital you can take means that planning you can do okay now from december 1st what are the subject what are the tests we are supposed to complete 14 14 tests okay now all the time you have to revise that particular book okay now this particular 10 topic level test four subject level tests, roughly 15 days okay in the sense power systems uh, topic level test you are going to take from december 1st and immediately topic 2 topic 3 or whatever it may be immediately after that subject level you are going to take okay so in that way total is going to 15 days so by december 15th by december 15th your syllabus will be done your preparation is going to be done after that everything is going to be revision only along with online test okay so from december 15th onwards every day you are taking only one test either uh, uh, what do you say 45 minutes test or 90 minutes test you are taking okay revision is continuously going after that what you are you are supposed to do we have to enter into subject level test multi subject level test meaning that from now onwards from december 15th onwards our mind has to think simultaneously kind of network theory and em theory are kind of signals and controls kind of power electronics and maths okay in that way if you plan oh in that way if you plan now we are supposed to have 10 10 multi subject tests 10 multi subject tests by december 15th December 15. Now, after December 15, you are not going to prepare anything individually, the concepts and all. Everything is going to be revision only. So, from December 15th to December end, December 30. Because by December 15th, all of the analysis is done. So, these 15 days, you please take 10 multi subject level tests only. Take up one test. Immediately after that, go back with uh, your waker sections, strengthen your waker sections and go with next, next, next. Now, by this time, by this time, means two, two subjects, you thought about it, your mind is ready, okay, your mind is ready and then go with grand test and mock test. Okay, if you go with grand test and mock test, grand test, which is of kind of uh, get exam 65 questions and all, this will be for three hours. Okay, so this is Jan first john 1st to john 15th if you can complete these 10 days daily three hours almost okay for 10 tests 15 days you are taking this is going to be john 15th you are you have to take five mock tests you have to take only five mock tests by january 15th okay then what you are supposed to do means from january 15th to jan 20 jan 20 or 25th also 25th also your book is there no your book is there means uh, in which you have written your waker areas problems and all means for 10 days you are going to revise only that book revise only that book multiple times and after that from 25th to jan 30 complete this and by jan end if you can complete from february 1st okay at least uh, one week you are going to get roughly okay one week or five days or ten days you are going to get in those areas you are going to work on the weaker areas of this five mark test then you will get the best possible rank okay so plan OTS along with your preparation otherwise means uh, without online test if you are devastated and if you uh, what do you say don't uh, give online test and directly if you go with original gate exam it would be difficult okay very very all the best